Okay, so the last time I made, uh, I did it with like using about the crappiest piece of plywood I could find. That's like oil, confused crap, and then used too much stuff. Now we're using a piece of decent pine to attach this. So let's see if it works any better. Alrighty, everybody. Here we are uh, cruising along, making this uh, new cup here. Now, the one thing is I used the, uh, you know, these little blanks that were left over from pen blanks is what it was. And then I glued them all together, you know, tried to make a neat little pattern out of them. And it's end grain is what we're, we're going against here. So this is why I'm using a carbide tip. Uh, and this is a really hard wood. Not sure which one this was. But uh, anyway, is what it is is the glue that I use. I use type on two. And it like if you if you squeeze it too hard i think it squeezes out too much glue and that's like foreshadowing for for something a little later here but uh and it's just you know in doing a bunch of these i think i did like four or five of these cups it was just uh it was noticeable that they would kind of break apart you know anyway, let's uh go ahead and pour it out i also got these uh, carbide tip uh, ones uh and they are way better than the, uh, the HSS ones, especially for this hard stuff. So. But either way, you still gotta go nice and slow. Take your time. Do it right. Uh, that's, I don't know. That's all I can tell you about that. You know, it's it's called art. You know. Uh, so here we're just uh, you know trying to uh, make it look pretty cool. I don't know. It could be something cool here. I don't know what happened there. I don't know. Anyway. All right, shaping it up here. We want to make it look like it's, uh, you know, made by old world craftsmen who actually knew what they were doing. Not a middle-aged guy who's just thinking he's got a hobby and making YouTube videos. I don't know. All right, sanding, very important here, guys. Sand, you gotta go from like a nice, a nice, uh, like a 80, and then we're gonna work our way through the grits here. Uh, you know, the 80, this and that. And I usually do, on these hardwoods, I, I end up doing the uh, the 1000. And you just go there, it gives it just such a nice polish. It really does. Using some acetone to uh, get rid of some of the oils in there. You can see it really show up on the rag there. Uh, you know, just all the fine particles, what have you. See, like I even showed that to you. Anyway, get it nice and clean. Also, use acetone. Oh, and then the cutting board oil. Use acetone because if you use water, that will it doesn't dry out, but the acetone dries out much faster. All right, the cutting board oil because it's food safe and this could possibly be used for food. And, you know, I don't want to get sued or something like that. I don't know. But it gives it a nice finish. Look at that. Look at that, man. It's a nice finish. I'm even being, like, professional and, like, taking a close look. Can you believe that? Uh, you know, even I'm amazed. Mm-hmm. You gotta give it a good inspection there, you know. Just also, inside and out. But, you know, it's like, uh, you just spent the last half hour carving away and... Enjoy your work. Oh, by the way, I forgot to uh, put this in the beginning, but I used a uh, carbide tip, and uh, that was actually I had to. It was a new one, but it really, it it the, the, even the carbide tip, it really uh, did a number on this. All right, did you see that little thing right there? Do you see how there's something a little bit different? Hmm. Do you guys have any idea how close we got to this? Son of a bitch. All right, if uh, this looks dangerous, like I'm going to saw my arm off, don't worry. It's totally safe. Well, son of a bitch. Right at the end. You know, it's it's always the last part. Here I thought I was going to have a great day. The cup was going to turn out nice. And, I mean, it, it's this is beautiful. It's amazingly beautiful. But so what I'm going to do is uh, just kind of clean this up a little, glue it on there nice and easy. And then just do some sanding to, uh, you know, make it look like it was some, you know, as we can do is then people are like, oh, is that like a, what's on it? You say, well, this was found in like ancient Mesopotamia and, uh, you know, it's in pristine condition, you know, that way people are like, oh my gosh, okay. Yeah. I can see where, you know, a little aging. Okay. That's cool. 
So, you know, uh, like most good art, it comes down to marketing. Anyway, let's glue this up. All right, uh, it looks pretty janky. I, I didn't really clamp it tight because, again, I think the glue, if you squeeze out too much glue, it's like, well, you, there's no glue to really do it. So anyway, so, uh, but I, you know, clamped it tight, but anyway. Uh, I also got this new uh, chisel here, and it works pretty good for the uh, doing the bottom stuff, I gotta admit. I saw it on another YouTube video, and I was like, hey, that guy looks like he's, he knows what he's doing, so... Uh, Let's do it. And uh, you know what? It turned out pretty nice. All right. So now that we the bottom, and I went real easy on it because I don't want this thing to fly apart again. Went real easy. We put on some sanding paper. We cleaned it up with the acetone, put on some oil. We're good to go. I got to say, if you, if you got sensitive ears, uh, you know, uh, Pretend there's a beeping sound, you know, like the beep, beep, beep sound coming. Okay, like, holy shit, I cannot believe I pulled this one together. This is one that, like, I mean, it, it broke right there. I glued it back together. I didn't put a lot of pressure on it. Thinking maybe the glue got squeezed out because the wood is so hard. Uh, and then, as you saw, I went so easy on this. I don't know if you really saw it or paying attention if you've got a porn tab open on your computer or something. But anyway the you know I, I just went like so delicate on it and then of course the bottom where i figure out how to use the those are pen chucks uh you know for like turning like a, a pen blank or something like that it's, it's pretty small it's used for like a i didn't use the way it's intended to be used let me put it that way i thunk outside the box so anyway other than that i mean this thing is just i mean it's a solid solid little cup i mean it's it's pretty awesome proud of this I'm, I'm really proud of this and because i like you guys so much uh this is a part two you get a you get a twofer this time you get you know two videos one one click and play i don't know anyway so uh again using the super hard wood this is a different hardwood i forgot what it's called anyway uh it's end grain using the carbide tip and I even had to switch the car by tip. I mean, it was like, it was brutal on it. And that's, that's kind of crazy. Uh, so anyway, just taking my sweet ass time and really small chunks, really small scrapes, this and that. Uh, and also, you see how I'm wearing a glove? It's because these like little pieces are coming off and like just like, oh my God. Also, I'm wearing a uh, face shield. I mean, you should be wearing a face shield anyway. But, uh, you know, with this stuff, it was like, you know, you need to wear a face shield. But this cup has a different ending to it, and I'm really, uh, you know, the whole point of showing you this one uh, is because there's there's life lessons to be had here, okay? That's what I'm getting at. Uh, you know, whenever you do something artistic or, you know, you're doing it for, I don't know, money but not money, you're doing it because you love doing it, you're going to find uh, some life lessons in there. And that's what this cup is all about. Even though it's looking gorgeous. I mean, good lord, look at that. Look at that, like, texture and everything. And the, oh, it's such an amazing. Anyway, using the uh, carbide-tipped uh, things here. And then uh, scraping it out. And doing a good job. Doing such a good job. Whoops. Hmm. All right. Well, anyway. Well, that sucked. Okay, so here we go. So, uh, is what I did is I glued the pieces back on at some point, and then I used uh, some CA glue to fill in some cracks and everything, because it turns out there's actually a fair number of cracks in there, uh, which is probably why it was catching and stuff like that. So then, is what I did is I was putting the uh, this piece back on. Is it, it flew out of my hands, hit the ground, and it broke. Now, on one hand... Uh, at least it broke while I did it. It's not like somebody bought it and they're like, oh, I dropped and broke, give me a new one. Uh, because that wouldn't happen because uh, I haven't sold any yet. Um, so anyway, but uh, I mean, as, as awesome as this thing was looking, it still needs to be, you know, laid out a bit more. It needs to be cleaned up and of course sanded. 
so then uh so then i'm thinking to myself well i could just you know just park this out glue it on and then call it as is but i think the real thing is it just kind of shows it's a metaphor for my life is what this really is uh it it it, it looks good but it breaks, it fails, and shit just doesn't happen. So, uh, yeah, that's about, I thought today was going to be like a really awesome day. I had one cup that almost turned out, and at the very last minute, piece flew off. Uh, and then like, oh, I'll just get this one fixed, and it'll turn out just fine. You know, a little minor wood repair, uh, all that good stuff. No. So uh, now we're going to uh, just get lunch and... Have a mental health day or something again. I don't know. Hope your day is going better.